Hi guys, Anthony here and welcome to another video. As someone who works in the world of finance and has a finance YouTube and encourages everyone to invest, I get a lot of questions from people who are just starting out in investing saying, where do I start and how do I get into the investment world? Now, a lot of people get really intimidated thinking that they need to understand what this means. All this means, or have a setup like this. And all of those things are incorrect. And in this video, I'm going to give you a run through from a platform called Nutmeg, which is a place which I think is perfect for beginners. It's a place where I encourage everyone who are just starting out into investing, who are a little bit worried about how they need to pick stocks, where they need to put their money and everything about it. I think this is a great place for those investors to start. So in this video, I'm gonna run through what Nutmeg is, is Nutmeg safe? how Nutmeg invest your money, what decisions you need to make, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like to navigate their site. So let's get going with the video. So what is Nutmeg? Well, Nutmeg are a digital wealth manager, and they're actually the biggest digital wealth manager in the whole of the UK. They have over 100,000 customers and manage over 2.2 billion pounds. Their philosophy works under the concept of full transparency and democratizing the whole financial process. This is because the finance industry can often be cloaked with jargon complexity just so that you can be charged higher fees lining their pockets, not yours. And with that aim of keeping things simple and transparent, I think Nutmeg really runs out here. I think it's a great place for people who aren't sure about what they need to look for when they begin investing to start investing into. Nutmeg isn't the place for day traders, option traders, and people who are just gonna YOLO their money on incredibly speculative penny stocks. This is a place for people to invest for the long term, ensuring that their money will be there for them, growing for them into the future. The way that Nutmeg invests is they invest into a portfolio of ETFs or exchange traded funds, which means that you get a ready-made diversified portfolio. An ETF or an exchange traded fund is basically a basket of companies. An ETF follows some of the biggest exchanges in the world. So if you buy an ETF which tracks the FTSE 100, you will be buying slices of the 100 largest companies which are listed at the London Stock Exchange. It's exactly the same way as if you did this for say the S&P 500, which is the 500 largest companies in America. Now, just like not putting your eggs in one basket, an ETF can be thought of as that basket. And what Nutmeg do is they buy a portfolio of ETFs, meaning that they buy between 15 and 25 different ETFs to put into your portfolio. Ultimately meaning that you have a basket of baskets. And by investing in ETFs, it keeps your fees low because no one wants to be paying money to a manager whilst they're losing gains. So before we go ahead and open an account, then let's look through the website to understand what Nutmeg tells you and if it fulfills its potential of being fully transparent. So when you open up the website, you can already see they offer you the full range of products. They offer you the ISA, Junior ISA, Lifetime ISA, Pension, and General Investing Account. That's a great array of different products which you can invest into. But let's just keep it simple and let's assume that you've never invested before and you probably want to open up an ISA. But you'll see just as a quick glance that Nutmeg has loads of information about where they invest, how they invest, how much fees they get charged, which is so important as no one wants to be hit with a big fee later on once they already start investing. So just remember that and really utilize the website and understand like the fact that there is so much information there that you can really learn so much about investing just from the website. However, there are a couple more decisions that you are going to have to make, but don't worry, I'm here to help walk you through them so you can feel comfortable when you come to invest. So firstly, what products are you going to open? Now, if you've never opened an investment account before, then you're probably going to be looking at an ISA or individual savings account. This will be your stocks and share ISA here. But what's great about Nutmeg is it offers you the opportunity to not only invest in an ISA, but a lifetime ISA, a junior ISA, a pension and a general investing account. Don't be overwhelmed too much right now. Just think that you're going to be opening an ISA. Those products are great when you wanna open more products, say like a lifetime ISA or a pension, but you know that they're there. So you can keep all your investments all in one place. Quite smart really, isn't it? Now the next decision that you're going to have to make is what investing style you want to follow. Nutmeg offers you four investment styles. Fully managed, smart alpha, socially responsible, fixed allocation. Now, fully managed is exactly what you'd expect. It's managed by the combination of the algorithm 
and human. This means that an investment team decides on what ETFs they're going to invest into and what proportion. They look at different data points such as the news, ongoing events, and how the markets are reacting to decide how they're going to invest. Next on the list is Smart Alpha. And this is Nutmeg who have partnered with JP Morgan Asset Management to use algorithms to decide the best ways to invest, basing that on the news and what events are going on in the world. This is using the technology and the research from JP Morgan to make more informed investment decisions, hopefully making you more money. Next on the actively managed scale, we have socially responsible. Socially responsible is very similar to the fully managed option. However, it focuses on companies which have a higher degree of socially responsible corporate management. And then finally, we have the fixed allocation, and this is the most passive of their four options. It means that once a year, they decide on how they're going to invest it, looking back at previous years, and then they just sit back and invest in the same proportion across the year. It means the investment team doesn't make decisions on the day-to-day -day management of the portfolio, and therefore, it's the cheapest option of the four. For beginners, I truly believe that the fully managed or the socially responsible options are probably the best. Because you've never invested before, having someone as a helping hand is going to be great. To be quite honest, I don't know anything about the JP Morgan side as it's all wrapped up in their research and algorithms. And just looking through a website, it hasn't had that long of a track record to show that it's outperformed the fully managed product. The fixed allocation is great, but I think it's for people who are a bit more experienced, who feel more comfortable about just leaving their investments and letting the markets do the work for them. Anything that's fully managed and invested by people is perfect for beginners because they can see how their investments are being invested. And what's great about Nutmeg is that when they change your portfolio at the end of each month, they release a video explaining what they've done and why they've done it. And as you can see from my screen, you can see the different fees that they charge. And this is great for you to understand how much you're being charged daily and annually for how much money you will have being held in Nutmeg. You can see the difference between the fully managed options and the fixed allocation. And over time, that will soon add up. So just bear that in mind when you start investing. Now, as I said earlier, there aren't many decisions that you need to make. And right now, you want the last decision that you need to make before you put your money in. The last decision you have to make is maybe one that's a little bit more touchy. And that's all about risk. Now, if you've never invested before, the reason you probably haven't invested is because you're worried about losing money. You're worried about risking your money on the stock market and then it goes to zero. However, the chances of the stock market going to absolutely zero and you ending up with absolutely no money whilst investing into ETFs just like Nutmeg does are incredibly low. If that did happen, the whole world would probably be falling apart. So the money that's in your ISA would probably be the least of your worries. Nutmeg shows the different risks that you can take. And with their simple slider, you can see what different investments they are making for you. As you can see on the screen, that when you change the risk, you change the returns. And because it's invested into a portfolio of ETFs, you're quite literally invested into thousands of companies. This means you're heavily diversified, meaning that you have little slices of lots of companies. So it's highly unlikely that they'll all go to zero all on the same day. This means that your risk of losing money is heavily reduced. But just use a slider and change it from all the way to 10, all the way down to one, and see how the different risks not only affect what investments they invest into, but how that impacts the return. What Nutmeg are doing is they're being highly transparent. So you have all the information before you invest. So once you've decided what product you're going to open, how you want it managed, and what risk you're going to take, you're ready to start investing. And make sure that you hit that like button before you start investing. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like once you have signed up and you've started investing your money. As I've mentioned earlier, Nutmeg is where I hold my lifetime ISA. And if any of you know about lifetime ISAs, you can only invest up to £4,000 a year. This isn't some weird flex on me trying to show you how much money I have, because to be quite frankly, you're going to look at it and be rather disappointed. This is a place where I use my lifetime ISA because the fees are low and means I can invest straight into the markets each and every month or week. This is much easier to invest into than other platforms which charge you every time you make a trade. Because I'm only investing up to £4,000 a year, that every time I trade and it costs me say £10 a trade, then those fees will soon add up. So this is by far the cheapest way which I've found to invest into a lifetime ISA. You can see my pot here. You can see the portfolio of my pot over time and you can see how it's grown. And also if I just click this, you can also see the contributions. And you can see that I've been contributing money every week 
that's because I wanna make sure that I'm hitting my 4,000 pounds by the end of the year. And what's great about lifetime ISA is you get a government bonus. And you'll see right here, the government bonus, which is pending to be paid. So when I scroll down, you can see the impact of my portfolio on the environment, the social impact of this portfolio, and the impact on governance. These are all things which are really interesting to bear in mind and are becoming a bigger and bigger issue for investment professionals in the long term. These are pressing issues which are becoming more mainstream, which means that more people are going to have a say on how their money is invested and why we are investing in certain companies to ensure that we are caring about the environment, the social impact and the governance. What's great about Nutmeg is that I just put the money in, it does all the work for me and I don't have to worry about how I want to invest and how much I want to invest in each strategy. I've already made all those decisions that I talked through earlier. So for me, I invested in the most adventurous because I'm happy taking higher amounts of risk because I've invested for a long time and I'm gonna hold this money in a lifetime ISA for the next 30, 40 years. As you can see, here's a list of all the ETFs that I've invested into through Nutmeg. I have exposure to the FTSE 100, S&P 500, and also different countries of the world. You can see as it's higher risk, there's a high proportion of small cap stocks as well. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and I hope that it helps you understand how, as a beginner investor, you can start investing into the investment markets just with a few simple decisions. I hope that it helps you understand Nutmeg better and truly understand why I think it's a great place for beginner investors to start investing. And what's so simple and so great about it is it's so transparent and is actually probably the closest thing to a savings account in the way that it works for people to start investing and not really feel like they're investing, not feel as if they have to learn about accounting and read about different companies. You just give your money to Nutmeg and they do the rest. So if you are a beginner and you are interested in Nutmeg, then check out the link in the description below. If you do use that link, you'll get six months free of management fees. And if you have enjoyed today's video and you have found it interesting, then please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more content from a finance professional talking about everything, personal finance, investing, and real estate, then hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.